welcome to a new video. Today, Saturday, the whatever it is, Easter weekend. I think a Friday was yesterday. I had a quiet day at home yesterday, so uh, uh, started uh, building up my new frame. I'll show you that when that's finished. But uh, today I'm just doing a 200 kilometer DIY down to sort of Devizes. Uh, Boyton, Warminster and back through Bath and Bristol and then back up the, the Severn Vale. Uh, so I've just climbed up out of uh, Coley. Uh, this little lane takes us down to uh, Ewley so it, it kind of goes over the little hump. Drops down into Ewley and then there's a, another climb out up onto the top of the uh, Cotswold Escarpment. So that's, that's my location. Um, yeah, I'm on the gravel bike today. I've put some... Uh, road tyres on it and that's made it considerably easier just so that I don't completely wear out the other bike although I've got this other one I'm building now so uh, another week or two that should be uh, on the road uh, so for those that don't know um, I haven't been watching my videos for a little while I broke I had a titanium frame which I broke uh, last October so the uh, the manufacturer said, yeah, we'll replace or re repair or replace that under warranty, but you just need to send it back to the US. And I hung it up in my shed, and here we are six months later. Anyway, I took it out yesterday to strip all the parts off. So I could, I got a new frame, so I was gonna put all the parts on that. And I noticed that the chain stays, uh, where I'd ridden the last sort of 15 miles on this broken frame, it had rubbed the chain stay. And uh, I don't trust it now, so uh, I'm just gonna, uh, Retire that permanently. I'm not going to waste money on sending it to the US. So, uh, yeah, I've got another frame in. I'm going to build that up. Anyway, let's, let's get on and uh, I'll speak to you in a bit later. Well, here we are. Naterton Duck Pond. Been here before on these videos. The, uh, the ducks are half asleep. I blame them. So I've had a bit of a technology uh, mishap this morning. I've uh, um, forgot to charge my other camera up, so uh, it's on the, on the phone today. So that's all right. Just no no action shots. <laughs> that one duck's got a, a feather stuck on the back of its head. It's been picked on by one of the others. Anyway, um, yeah. So. Uh, as you can see, the weather is absolutely lovely. First ride of the year, with the arms and legs out. I do have a, a gilet and an arm warmers with me. So uh, that'll probably be for later on. Uh, not much wind. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're off down there. Down to devices from here. And then a uh, bit of a loop round to Boyton and then Warminster. And then back. Well, you find me in uh, Melksham in the petrol station. Uh, about 36 miles done. Bit of beef and onion. And a drink. So good having... Um, let me get it a bit closer. Not having to spend 10 minutes getting dressed at the beginning <laughs> and then carrying several kilos of clothes with you. It's so nice. I guess it's what we got to look forward to for the next six months now, hopefully. I um, was meant to have ridden the uh, the 400 from Bristol last weekend, and I haven't been feeling uh, on top of the world. Just felt I was constantly tired. And I thought, oh no, I've come down with the, the Rona. And uh, anyway, yeah. After a couple of weeks of it, it's not something quite right. And I was feeling cold is all the time as well. And I couldn't work what that out it was. And I, I was beginning to panic a little bit. Um, you know, I was coming down with something serious. Anyway, uh, I googled the uh, the symptoms. And uh, it came back with uh, a lack of iron. Oh, okay, I'll buy some pills. And we bought them and I feel completely different ever since. So... I must have been just like really run down. Anyway, I feel a bit better now, which is good. 
Anyway, I'm going to get on with this sandwich. It's calling my name. <laughs> Here we are, some locks in the uh, Kennet Naval Canal. Just uh, coming along the, the canal towpath here. Pretty, uh, pretty busy, as you'd expect, decent weather, public holiday. Especially if there's a pub around. <laughs> uh, great, really enjoying this. The last time I came along here, there was a, a crest on the on the top of the water of ice. <laughs> This is Con Con uh, Locks. I don't know, a flight of locks, is it? So as you can see, it goes up the side of the hill. Actually, expecting a lot more people here. Actually, that's, what we're, that's just where I've come back from. As you see, the, the weather is absolutely glorious. So I'm going to just ride up the path now up the hill. You know what, I really enjoyed that, that uh, stretch along the Canal Two path. It's about five miles and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Saw a heron or whatever they, they're called. Yeah, it was really good. So I, got, I went a bit wrong here in devices and uh, I'm just about to get back on route again. But uh, yeah, a couple of hundred yards staying there and uh, should be back on route. Really enjoying this weather. It's really, really good. Well, as the sign says, I've gone. I'm in uh, Codford. Just uh, only got some drinks and stuff uh, from the from the petrol station here, and uh, I had a fab <laughs> ice lolly. Uh, suddenly uh, gone back forty years, you know. <laughs> but uh, oh, I've just sat up against the wall over there, and uh, just soaking up the rays. I think I'm going to get sunburned. So that's the A36 over there, that's the main uh, Warminster to Salisbury Road. Basically I'm going to cross that and then go up the Wiley Valley, which I absolutely adore. So I'm going to head back north now from here. This is kind of, I suppose, the most southerly point of today's route. Um, <clears throat> let's have a sit down here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to head back up to Warminster, cut across to Bath. Um, Bradley Stoke and then sort of Thornbury and that's through the lanes to uh, Barclay that's generally the general gist of today's ride um, I've done this this is a kind of a route you can do all year round really and uh, I was in the garden yesterday uh, I was going to have a, I wasn't going to do anything until Monday but I noticed that this was the best day of the weekend so and it's you know it turned out that's to be the case so that's good so um yeah, so I thought, oh, I'll just do something quick. So this is what I knocked up yesterday. Put it in as a as a DIY to uh, Barry, and uh, and here we are, halfway round. Well, it's just under, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm absolutely loving this. I'm really enjoying it. You know, the, going along the uh, the canal and uh, saw a big heron. I think that's what it is. I, I'm not really into birds, but. Uh, Took a photograph, so if I remember, I'll stick it in this video. So, uh, all you twitchers out there can uh, put me right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's absolutely glorious. So much better. Oh, there's a uh, sort of bird's nest up, up there in the tree. I don't know if making some racket. Uh, the other good talking to trees. I mean, the leaves are all coming out and everything now, and it's just like, yeah, the end of winter. Don't mind winter, but uh, for cycling, I definitely uh, prefer the summer or the you know the warmer months. The good thing about doing these uh, these rides all year round is uh, just seeing how 
each season that affects the countryside, you know. And, you know, I was looking at the fields earlier and, you know, they were ploughed and everything. I'm like, yes, uh, you know, it's... Uh, here we are in another season. Anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to move. It's so nice. Just sat in the sun here. Well, I, I know I have to because I'm about the furthest away from home that I can be, really. Uh, at least on this way. But, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, truth be told, I've probably been a bit stale the last sort of month or so. It's, uh, did quite a, few, quite a lot over the winter and that kind of thing. So uh, I think I'm having a bit of a break. So I've had really, uh, I suppose you could say a couple of weekends now where I've not done a lot. And uh, I think that's just made me feel a bit fresher, you know. So uh, I'm not breaking my neck around here today. I'm just uh, enjoying the sunshine, the scenery. Um, I'm looking forward to going along the two tunnels Greenway again later on. I expect that will be busy with uh, families out walking and stuff, but we shall see. Well, well you know, uh, join me. I'm probably only a mile or so from where I was sat at the petrol station. So, uh, A46 is up there, A36, whatever it was, and uh, just come down this lane, and uh, Boyton, a sign for Boyton is just up there, you can just see it, and this is the River Wiley, with a, a flock of swans, well it's actually, I can see by the colour of them, they're babies with their parents, it's still got some of their brown uh, plumage on there. Oh, it's a car coming. I'm going to have to walk, get out of the way before he runs me over. But, uh, yes, what a glorious place. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one to like this part of the world as well. I can hear the railway. So basically this valley takes us all the way up to Warminster, which is in this direction. So that's kind of facing north-ish. And this is roughly south, southwest maybe, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I absolutely love this part of the world. And I was, I can't remember it, you know, from years ago, whether I, I came down here before I sort of retook up uh, Audaxin. But uh, it was one of Will Pomeroy's rides that came down here in the winter. And I'm like, wow, I love this place. Uh, so, I, and I've been, weirdly, I've been down here quite a lot since. So, uh, yeah, it is actually slightly better coming from Warminster down because it's slightly downhill. You're kind of, the way I'm going today, you're going against the, uh, the flow. Uh, the, the sea's that way. <laughs> but, uh, Lovely clear water, as you'd expect. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can see any fish. I can't see any though, even if they're minnows. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm going to go up here to turn right. And then uh, up the valley. I think I have to go through Warminster, sadly. And then back in the lanes after that. Let's make a wide angle. So I have a uh, Come up through at the Wiley Valley, Wiley Valley. This is the River Wiley again, I think. And uh, what a beautiful spot. So uh, this this uh, path is actually a road. I uh, came through Sutton Vaney. Oh, I've got one of those sticky things on my feet. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I came through Sutton Vaney and turned left just before I got to. Uh, the outskirts of Warminster and this this road basically peters out into this path and uh, yeah it comes down here 
and what a spot. What an absolute wonderful place. There's a lady working in the garden over there. <laughs> She's wondering what I'm doing, talking to myself. But, uh, Still can't see any fish. Tell a lie, I can see some. They're right in the bottom. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to get them on the camera on the on the phone. <laughs> Where well, you know, find me on the two two uh, two tunnels growing way. Um, I've just come through uh, Midford. Uh, I stopped in Norton St Phillips, Norton St Philip, uh, in the co-op there, and had a had a drink and a sandwich. Uh, didn't they hurt film anything there. Cause <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've dropped down here to, uh, near just a mile or so outside Midford Station, and uh, yeah, so I'm just going off into towards Bath at the moment, and then uh, going. Uh, towards Bristol after that so uh, I'm just about to go through the first of the tunnels the, the longest one of the two and uh, yeah I'll pick you up on the other side well, I'm now on the uh, Bristol to Bath railway path uh, just a mile or two in, into it uh, yeah the uh, the two tunnels were interesting uh, you, you went into them other than them being dark compared to out here, it was freezing as well. I was like, bloody hell, this is chilly. Uh, both of them, but, uh, the one's quite long, so you're in it for quite a long time. And uh, yeah, it was interesting. Uh, I've gone through the little bit of bath that you have to go through and uh, just on, on the way down here now. So uh, yeah, I haven't been along here for a little while. Oops. You've got the, uh, the main line over there. Have I already said that? Possibly. <laughs> it's me age. But uh, yeah, it's absolutely glorious day. It really is. Yes. Anyway, let's crack on. Let's keep going. Well, folks have just gone through Barclay. A uh, bit of a gap between uh, here and where I last spoke to you in on the uh, Bristol to Bath bike path. Nothing really of note between there and here. I did stop in the shop at uh, Olverston. Uh, I was going to do a, you know, a clip there, but uh, there's too many cars parked outside with their engines running, so I didn't bother. Anyway. Uh, I got about, I don't know, seven or eight miles to go. And we're job done. Another one ticked off. Well, folks, there's another one ticked off. Uh, that was 11 hours. Not too bad considering I'm on the gravel bike. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. The weather was absolutely fantastic. Really, uh, yeah, summer has arrived today anyway. Uh, I don't really have an awful lot to say, so I'll see you on the next one.